Hi neighbor, my name is Hannah and welcome back to my channel, Pretty Hippie Me. My channel is about fashion, makeup, and life in general, so if you like this video, I hope that you subscribe to my channel and set your notifications to all so you can keep in touch with everything going on here in the neighborhood. So today's video is a first impressions video of a bunch of makeup that I got at TJ Maxx. I always have found it very interesting, the types of makeup that TJ Maxx carries and how it's like good makeup, but it's so discounted. And so it always makes me wonder, why are these brands here? Are the products themselves bad? Or is it a reflection on the brand as a whole? Are they possibly old products or expired or like things that people just generally didn't like, like the quality was bad? I don't know, it was very curious. So I ended up just getting a big old haul of makeup, almost a full face of first impressions of makeup and giving it a try. We're talking about some good brands, some exciting brands. We got Kevin Aquan, Bite, Smashbox, NARS, Stila, and more. So it was a pretty good haul. So stick around to see that, especially because this is a very honest video. My makeup look did not come out the best, <laughs> or at least I was not very happy with it. But it's a fun time and this video was like a really fun like learning process. Even though I do look pretty stressed out during the video, I promise I was having fun. <laughs> so I hope you just grab some tea or coffee and have fun watching this first impressions of not only a bunch of these makeup products, but a lot of the brands, it's my first time trying them out too. And for a little added extra something fun, I know that my makeup videos don't always get a lot of views. So I have a secret that I'm just telling my makeup followers, my viewers who watch my makeup up stuff and it will be at the end of the video so I hope that you stick around until the end of the video to see not only my uh, messy <laughs> first impressions which have a happy ending by the way because I made this look with the same products that I'm like struggling with in the video like I did figure it out a little bit but also stick around until the end for the special secret announcement that my makeup viewers will be getting first my makeup viewers are special to me because I used to like basically just do makeup videos so I appreciate you guys I really do thank you so much for watching and let's get into the first impressions well, hello, it's me a few days later. Um, I have been really looking forward to getting into all of the makeup stuff that I got. Um, really quickly, I did also get this shirt at TJ Maxx. I just thought it was pretty. This is the only piece of clothing that I got. I like this like sparkly neckline and a little bit sheerness at the top. And then the bodice is this like sweater. I have my fan running because it's super freaking warm and I'm trying to maintain some level of non-sweatiness for you guys. That's where we actually get into the makeup products because I have a primer in here specifically to try to combat that. So I have a lot of makeup here in front of me from brands I've never tried, mostly because they're just like too expensive for me. But I know that these brands tend to be good. It's like a first impression of a lot of these different brands for me. But also I'm wondering why are these products at TJ Maxx? And what am I going to think of using them? I want to start with, I'm not going to use this on camera, but this is a little like face cleaning brush by Kala. And I've really enjoyed starting to use this. It's not a power brush, like it's a manual scrub. I always feel like I get a much better clean when I'm using a brush like this and when I'm just using my fingers. It helps me feel more exfoliated. This side is not even supposed to be the exfoliating side. That's This side is, is this like soft silicone thing to give you like a soft exfoliation. But I feel like just using the white brush side for me is plenty. Just wanted to give that an honorable mention. I have something for almost every part of my face in this haul. I'll introduce the products as I go along. I'm gonna start out with a primer, which is not usually something I do, so I'm excited. I only have moisturizer on my face right now. This is Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control, which is perfect for me. A cloud-like texture delivers a silky matte finish for combination to oily skin, that's me. So I haven't heard anybody talk about Smashbox for a long time. Like, did they fall from grace somehow? Like, are they canceled? Like, what happened with Smashbox? If you guys know, let me know. I wonder how much I should use. Like, I feel like I'm using a lot. Feeling the places where I've already put it, it does feel matte in the finish, like it said. I do feel like I'm using a lot of this. 
Maybe I just have a large face. But yeah, my face does feel very, it feels like soft and matte and not very oily in all the places that I just put this. So that was fast. Cool, step one. Next up, this is a relatively new product for me, but it's not brand new from this haul. It's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I finally got a shade that works for me, thank God. What's gonna be new about this is using this new brush by Evermate. I've been wanting to try one of these like kabuki brush style, like really flat, really dense brushes. Let's give it a shot. I really like this foundation because it's very lightweight, but it's very full coverage too, and it has a good staying power. My skin type is combination. It might be different for different skin types. I'm just gonna use this. I don't usually like to use a brush to put on my makeup because I'm scared of having a lot of streaks. I also, I literally have never looked up any like techniques on how to move your brush or use your brush when you're applying makeup to get a nice finish or anything like that. So literally could just be all my fault. But I think I like this brush so far. It's very soft. I think I just need more product. So the finish is, there are some areas that are streaky and some that are not. That's what's like weirding me out a little bit. So I have my little sponge here, it's damp. I'm gonna just. Yeah, okay. From afar, like holding my mirror back here, it definitely looks clean and nice. As for the brush, I think I like it. I want to continue using it and learning how to work with it to avoid getting some streaks. Again, the brand is Evermate, the Evermate Multi Brush. I'm excited to have this, it was like $4. Also, the Smashbox Primer was $15.99. All right, so now I'm gonna move into eye makeup because I forgot that usually I do my eye makeup first. So um, for eye makeup, I have several different products here. I have a BH Cosmetics palette, a collaboration with Sylvia Ghani. It was $8. I have this NARS Single. It was $3.50 on clearance. So this will be my first eyeshadow from NARS that I'm ever using. I feel like it's gonna complement the palette pretty well too. And then I also have something that I've heard Smokey Glow talk a lot about, that she loves these, um, Stila Glitter and Glows. This is a three pack. We have like a gold one in the middle, a bronzy one on one side, and then a red one on the other side. I think I'm going to use the gold one. According to the instructions on the back, because I read instructions, you can use these on their own as a shadow or or as a topper. These were $12.99, and if Smoky Glow loves it, I at least wanna try it. Finally, I also have an Absolute New York Nano Liner. This was $4.99, I'm excited to use this because I'm always looking for a water resistant or waterproof eyeliner with a very fine tip. Let's get into it, ladies, or gents, gender non-binary, transgender, who knows, whoever's watching. So first of all, this is pretty. There's like a little like texture to it and you have this Sylvia Ghani logo. Oh, it is broken. I don't know if this was my fault or not, but um, this shade right here is very broken. That's a shame to open right up to. I think I'm probably gonna go pretty glam with this look. Okay, I'm gonna put this medium brown shade called Rebel here in my crease. I'm just gonna start out, ooh, it's very soft. Very soft. This is my first real BH Cosmetics eyeshadow that I'm trying because I have one more BH Cosmetics palette, but it is a pressed pigment palette. It's the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I picked up way too much eyeshadow. Holy God. Just keep blending, just keep blending. It'll go away, right? Oh my God. All right, I will be more careful now that I know how soft these shadows are. <laughs> At least soft also means blendable, so that's good. This is so pigmented. So, I have way too much brown eyeshadow on, but we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna work with it. We're gonna blend it out. We're gonna do our best. I'll also say this is my first time that I'm putting eyeshadow on this Clinique foundation as my, oh my God, as my base for my eyeshadow. Usually I use my CoverGirl concealer, so that's different too. I guess I'm just bringing this up right under the brow line because I don't know why, but that's just what happened. So 
good. This is why these videos don't get any views. I think I'm gonna put Night Owl. It's another matte in my outer corner. Very kind of lightly, I hope. Okay. These mattes are very soft, very pigmented. Like, it's good. I think that I just need to work with it more. If you go in knowing that it's gonna be soft and pigmented, then you can save yourself from whatever the duck eye just did. I think the, this is a great like everyday palette. I'm probably gonna come back to it before the end of the look. Okay, my mirror just fell over. Now I'm gonna break out the NARS because I wanna see what the big deal is about the NARS, you know? This is a, a NARS single. The color is called Domination. It's a matte pink magenta. It's a little less soft. And I'm gonna put this all over my lid, I think. See, I guess this is why I think I was like unprepared for how soft the BH palette was. The NARS palette takes a little bit more effort to like get the product out of the pan. Like I'm like pressing and like circling my brush in here. And also it's not transferring off of my brush as easily as the BH ones just did. This is the fourth time I'm dipping my brush in, but the color is really pretty. I'm gonna go and do the other side as well, same thing. I gotta say I'm glad I only paid $3.50 for this because I'm much more interested in the BH palette than I am in using this single again. But as far as answering the question of why was this at TJ Maxx, I can see it being a little less user friendly than the BH just was. I have a clean brush, I'm just gonna blend. I'm kind of bringing that purple into the crease to uh, help. Well, let's move on to the Stila Glitter and Glows. I'm excited. This one is called Follow the Sun, and because I put the pink all over my eye, I guess I'm gonna use it as a topper over the pink. Ooh, come on out, buddy. The applicator is like this paddle shape here, so I'm gonna put that on the inner. Ooh, it's wet. Ooh, that is so glittery. I'm being very light in my touches with it, and the NARS is getting into it. My brush is turning pink. What do I do about this now? Okay, so I just rubbed it on, I have a like damp washcloth here. Here's what's confusing me about this. This is very wet. This is a very wet formula. So the matte eyeshadow that is underneath it is kind of coming up and yeah. Oh my God, now there's like a gap. in my eye makeup. I mean, now maybe I'm just moving it too much and I should just put on the glitter and then like stop touching it. Maybe I need to like close my eyes and just like let it dry in the fan a little bit. I don't know. Okay, I'll show you the two eyes. This eye, my left eye, I just put the glitter and glow on and didn't really do anything with it. This first eye, I put the glitter and glow on and then I was moving it around a little bit and I wasn't happy with, like this is all internal thoughts that I'm telling you, I wasn't thrilled with the pigmentation of it. So I was trying to layer it out a little more. And um, you can see there's kind of a, uh, a bald spot where my eyeshadow used to be. <laughs> I think letting it dry down before I touch it is probably a smart decision. I'm gonna try, now that this is dried down a little bit more, adding more of this so that it just looks glittery where that bald spot is. It's gonna, oh yeah, glitter that up. Now now that's, that's cool. This is super like foiled looking now. So I guess that's the secret here. Do a layer, let it dry, and to like pat, don't like swipe it because swiping made my matte eyeshadow, eyeshadow underneath disappear. Where did it go? Nobody knows. I like it. To be able to figure out the idiosyncrasies with it and kind of adjust my method within the first time using it is good for me. I'm gonna take this shade underrated down here to blend out the brown and kind of tone it down a little bit and it'll make it look a little bit more like purposefully set in the crease. Yeah, that looks more comfortable to me. See, look at the difference between one eye and the other. I will come back and clean up the 
edges very soon. Okay, it feels more like a look now and not a mistake. So now I'm gonna use the same brush and go back in with uh, hmm, Prince. No, I'm gonna go in with Opal as a highlight under my brow bone and in my inner corner of my eye. Ah, jeez! as I put down the palette onto my little table here. My fingernail like dug into Libra up here. Oh my God, and now that just fell out. This palette is falling apart. So it's very soft, guys. It's very soft and very destructible. This is very glittery. Oh my God, guys, this may be the actual worst eye makeup look I've ever done on my channel. This is very chunky. What the heck is this? I look like an insane person. All right, I'm blending it out as much as I can. Oh my God. Okay, for the sake of my own curiosity, I'm gonna try Prince, which is the color I was originally gonna go for because I wanna see if it's also this very like grainy, large chunk glitter texture. It's very possible that the color opal is like that just because it's broken. Well, it's very foiled. And I don't know if that's the layering or if it's just that's as foiled as it is. After I finish this first impressions makeup look, I'm immediately going to take off this eye makeup and make a better look with the same products. And I will show you the end result of that at the end of this video. I promise that the second look that I make with these products is gonna be better. Until then, on to eyeliner. <laughs> As I've said before, a good liquid eyeliner covers a multitude of sins. So hopefully this will cover all these sins. We have this Absolute New York Nano Liner, which has an ultra fine precision tip. Now I've never really found a liquid eyeliner that I don't like, so this is gonna have to screw up pretty bad for me to have a problem with it. I do think this is giving me nice precision. Uh, it is not very wet though, which makes me wonder if it's a little old. Everything was going so fine until the Stila glitters attacked. Yep, this is dry, it's skipping. It's dried out, I'm pretty sure. And this is going in the trash as soon as I'm done using it for this video. But this is the risk, folks. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done trying to work with this. I'm pretty sure that this is really freaking old and that's why it's at TJ Maxx and it's really dry and it's not working. <laughs> so this is going in the trash. I will not be using this when I do my redo look. I barely wanted to finish using it for this first time look. I'm gonna do my mascara, but before I do, I'm gonna use my little itty bitty concealer brush to clean up the lines of my eyeshadow. Now mascara, this is not a new product, this is mine. So I'm gonna go through this quickly because we have some face products to do as well. It's just my Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara. Mascara is done. I'll give you a quick close up on the eyes, the completed eyes. <laughs> you know, it's not absolutely awful but it's not great and I have some thoughts about the whole thing just once we get through the face products I will give you my final thoughts on all of these so speaking of the face products this was three dollars it's this Nicole Miller compact blush quad and I think that there's one shade on here that I could use as a like contour so I'm gonna do that I've never heard anybody who talks about makeup talk about Nicole Miller makeup and I've never heard anyone who talks about fashion or clothing talk about Nicole Miller clothing but she has a clothing line she has a makeup line I don't know who she is I don't know why she has these things I think I'm gonna go light on my blush today this like lighter pinky color who is Nicole Miller? Why does she have makeup? And why is it always like at TJ Maxx and Burlington and never actually like in a Sephora or an Ulta? Like what, who, what's happening? I like this color for me. 
natural but still present, so I appreciate that. And then I'm gonna use the like more brown shade here. It's not exactly brown, it's like a dark peach. I'm gonna use that as a contour for today. Just give it a shot. Am I the only one who still does to find my contour? <laughs> I think it's fine. Finally, for face products, I have my first Makeup Revolution product I'm trying. It's called Skin Kiss. This was $3. It's a super intense and skin loving highlighter. We have one, two, three, four, five different colors here. I've never used colorful highlighters before, so I'm just curious how colored highlighters will actually look on me. What I'm wondering is, am I supposed to choose one color to swipe? And highlight with or am I supposed to do like a swirl in the whole thing and have like a rainbow highlight because it's kind of what I want to do <laughs> you know what I'm testing it I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna do a nice little circle swirl and we'll see how it comes out on my face my memory card went out and I don't know when the camera cut off I highlighted my cheeks and I like it I feel like in terms of color I'm seeing the blue tones come through more than like the green or the peach I have to wear it I have to try it I have to see how I feel about it but it's fun it definitely adds some some like cool pop to the look okay finally lips and then I will wrap up and give you kind of some opinions on all the products I actually have two lip products one is bite beauty this was five dollars and it's an amuse-bouche liquefied lip. It's like this darker. In the video I said it was dark brown, but it's actually like a very deep burgundy. Liquid lipstick, which I'm excited to use at some point. I just don't think that it's right for this look. What I think I am gonna use is something I'm also very excited about. A Kevin Aquan lip liquid lipstick that was $3 on clearance. This color fits more, I think, with what's going on today. And um, it's Kevin Aquan. Again, why was it at TJ Maxx? So I hope that this is a good product that just maybe is not on trend anymore and not that it like secretly sucks. It's this pink kind of berry color. We'll give it a shot. I love, love the shape of this doe foot applicator. Ooh, it's, it's drying matte, so it's a matte liquid lip. Cause like this didn't come in a box or anything, it came like this. So maybe that's why it was on clearance at the TJ Maxx, because somebody took it out of the box or something. Now I'm realizing this was not sealed. So I hope to God that nobody used this lipstick. And I really, really like the shape of this doe foot applicator. The angle of it fits so perfectly on my bottom lip, especially. The formula is soft and nice. It's buildable on my lips. It dries matte, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna dry out my lips. Maybe this was just a lucky find. I don't know why this was there, because this is a good product. Three dollars, man. Okay, so that's everything that I got. <laughs> my purchase total for all these products was $90.74, including this shirt and a soda that I got. I got like a pack of razors. <laughs> so the makeup itself, you have to look at the individual prices that I listed. Kind of as an initial review of the primer, I have not been feeling sweaty and oily while I've been sitting here talking to you and it's warm enough that I should. So the primer is off to a good start already. <laughs> so this look kind of <laughs> is not what I thought it was gonna be, but it is what it is. So here's a close up of the final look which I always do, even apparently when I'm a little embarrassed of it. So here we go. Here's what I'm feeling right now. Some of these products belong at TJ Maxx and some of them don't. <laughs> I think this is great. I think this is at least like fun to play with. I'm gonna play around with it more. This Nicole Miller is like fine. The brush, like I said, I'm looking forward to using it more and I think it's good. I think it's just like, I need to learn the techniques of it. And the eye products are really where <laughs> this look has like its make or break moments. This eyeliner is trash. I'm just, I'm literally gonna put it in the trash. That's that, on that. The BH Cosmetics, Sylvia Ghani Beauty 
collaboration palette here. I think it's good. I used a few different shades from this palette. I think that they're good. They're very soft. They're very like wet. They're very workable, which to me I really like. I think that you have to know that going in so you don't do what I did, but I really look forward to working with that palette more. And like I said, I'm going to redo this look and show you a better look than I made with these products. The NARS single, I was not impressed with this. I was really not. I'm confused by the amount of work that I had to do to get the product onto my brush. So it's probably just packed too hard. I think if it was a little more softly pressed and I could actually get the product up onto my brush, then it would be a different story. Or maybe if I try it with a wet brush. But my initial impression is I don't love it. The payout wasn't the same or as good as this much less expensive brand. I have a similar color in here called Sisterhood, which will probably be easier. The Stila Glitters. My friends. I think as a topper, I would not use these again because the formula is just so wet and it lifted up that NARS shadow so fast and I got a bald spot on my eye. What I think I want to do is experiment with having these be the only shadow on my lid. These are probably a good product and as I was playing with them I was learning more about them and learning how to use them. Basically I think that what happened today is that I had a good idea for an eye look but when it came to actually doing it the products didn't work out the way that I thought they were going to. I think a lot of products are not necessarily bad, they just take some time to learn how to work with and how to use. First impressions are not everything. I really enjoyed that the more I used these products just today, just in this one makeup look, I was learning so much about them. So yeah, sorry this look didn't turn out great, but also I'm not sorry that it didn't turn out great because it was a really fun look and a fun learning process. So you made it through the first impressions. Good job, you are a champ. This is a good time for a bathroom break because this video is so freaking long. Um, <laughs> but stick around because you're about to see that redone look made with mostly the same products. I do want to mention before we get into this section, the lighting was really giving me a hard time that day and I tried color correcting and it just did not do what I wanted it to do, so I'm sorry. But I'm working on it, I promise, and it's gonna be better in the future. All right, let's get into it. Hello, I'm back. It's the next day. I have done my makeup again using the same products mostly and I'm much more happy with how the look turned out today. I want to show you my look for today and then talk about a couple notable differences. So here's what I got going on. So, first and foremost, and probably most uh, importantly to me, I switched out the liquid eyeliner and I used my NYX Epic Ink Liner. This actually works and it's not dried out. I actually got a decent line on my eyes. Also notably, I did not use the Glitter and Glow as a topper this time. I used it just as the eyeshadow shade. There's definitely some places on my eyes where it's a little bit patchy or you can see exactly how I applied it because you can see like texture kind of. So I'm figuring out the best way to use it, but it's absolutely like vibrant and foiled and glittery. So it's still like a product I recommend. And if you're better than me at <laughs> makeup techniques and stuff, you might be able to use it better, faster than me. I also used the Bite lipstick for this lip look and I absolutely love this color. I love this color with this look. I went with like a more like grungy, except with the glitter. See that lipstick on my teeth? Yeah, that stays there for the rest of the video, or at least the rest of like this section of the video. I noticed it during editing and I'm so mad I didn't notice it during filming. I'm not proud of it. Uh, I'm sorry and I wish it wasn't there. So let's laugh about it together. <laughs> All right, let's get back into it. I just like the color on me. I think that this type of look is really cool and good for me and my skin tone and undertones and stuff. I used this highlighter again from Makeup Revolution, but I specifically focused my brush on the like peach and pink shades. And I feel like that's a nice like subtle glow that doesn't 
like distract too much from the look itself. So I'm very happy with all of those changes. Most of them were improvements as opposed to like, this is just a different color. Like the Kevin Aquan lipstick was great. This lipstick is also great. And by the way, I forgot to mention, I also like the, the shape of this applicator. I love this. I feel like it works for my lower lip really well, and I have the precision that I need for my upper lip. One note I'll quickly make, the Smashbox primer, I'm actually like using it over time today. It felt really great on my skin, but right now, as I'm sitting here in the hot lights, and as I was going through the process of putting my makeup on earlier, I do feel some like oiliness on my upper lip, but overall, so far, I'm feeling pretty oil controlled. The only thing that I'm still like a little bit like uh, uh, trying to figure out is the BH Cosmetics Sylvia Ghani palette that I used. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to work with these mattes. I was able to pick up less product so it's not as like crazy as it was the first time I used this palette, but I still feel like I picked up too much. Again, I was trying to do like a crease shade and it turned into like an entire crease and brow bone and just way too much brown <laughs> on my eyelid. So just if you get this palette. I don't know if this is different from other BH eyeshadow palettes, but at least this palette. Make sure that you do it <laughs> at a time when you have a little bit of time to play around and maybe if you need to redo your eye makeup look just in case you end up picking up too much and it just becomes a lot. I haven't tried ABH and now that they're in a bunch of scandal I don't know if I ever will um, unless they turn that ship all the way around. This formula feels like what everybody talks about with ABH with that really soft really blendable really pigmented eyeshadow formula. Like maybe that softness is just this BH palette. Maybe it's all the BH eyeshadow palettes. I don't know. Um, so just let me know your experience with it. This eyeshadow palette and the Stila Glitter and Glows, I really need to spend some time working with and getting to know them in order to use them properly. But I still like them. Like I love this color palette. This is probably about to be my new go-to palette. I can absolutely, once I get used to how it works, make whatever look I want out of this palette. This is a such a me <laughs> color palette. <laughs> and I'm just really thrilled that I have it. I would like to link these products and I'll try to link the ones that I can, but because it's like TJ Maxx and some of the stuff might be on clearance, like I don't know if I can find everything, but I'll do my best. Also, they're not affiliated links. I don't know. Magic Links doesn't like me and just decided that I'm not special enough for whatever reason, so I, I don't get affiliate links. <laughs> so I'm not making money off of any of these links that I provide in my videos at this time. I will let you know if my links ever do become affiliated. That's important to me. My Instagram handle will also be down there as well as a link to register to vote. I hope that you do that so that you can be represented and use your voice and fill out the census if you haven't yet. Like, this is the year. This is the time. We got stuff to do. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you and your time and the fact that you are spending so much time here with me. <laughs> so much love. Okay, you made it to the end. You winner. You absolute treasure you. I have noticed that my makeup videos don't get the same amount of views as my fashion videos, so I wanted to give you loyal followers who first found me when I was mostly doing makeup videos before I really started doing a lot of fashion videos as well. I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. I am going to be doing a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and I'm very excited about it. I've tossed around a few different ideas in my head about how I want to do it, and I think what I want to do, because I value you guys, is just send somebody, one of my subscribers, $100. Either cash or like a Visa gift card, send $100 to the winner of the giveaway. And the criteria to be qualified, you do not have to be a brand new subscriber, but you do have to be subscribed. And you have to go to my Instagram and follow me on Instagram. And in either this video or any of the other videos where I mention the giveaway, comment with your Instagram handle so that I can then go and find you and make sure that we're, you know, we gotta verify, etc. before I do the giveaway. Once I hit 1,000 subscribers is when the giveaway will happen. And hopefully it'll happen soon, TBD. But thank you so much for being here and for watching my makeup videos. These are the videos that I really enjoy making more. I like the fashion videos, but 
the makeup videos are a little more personal, a little more fun. I kind of get to show my personality a little bit differently than the fashion videos. So I really enjoy making these videos. I put a lot of hard work and effort into these. So I wanted to give my makeup video audience the first heads up about this giveaway because I have a little special place in my heart for the makeup audience. Thank you so much. Go ahead and get subscribing and following on Instagram and coming back here with your Instagram handle and Hopefully I will be able to do this giveaway very soon. Thank you so much guys, have a wonderful day. So much love, bye. <laughs>